An old book I read long ago said the king's loyal steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. But my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall what exactly the steed so desired. I think it's best that you search on the bookshelf over there if you want to find out any more. Oh, he's got a... is it... it's not a carbuncle. What's it, what's it called? It's something like that, right? Isn't it? I know Carbuggles are thinking of Final Fantasy XV. Uh, there are all kinds of books about the Cap Crown Tundra. What should you read? Ooh, try the Freezing to Snow Samba. Uh, isn't it tough dealing with the cold here on the Tundra, with temperatures seeming to drop lower and lower with every passing year? While it's tempting to stay indoors where it's cozy, don't forget to move that body too. Try that freezing snow samba today and get your body moving to stay warm all winter. Lift both hands in the air and wave here, wave there, bow low, touch your toes and freeze. Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> uh, then up we pop and start all over once more. Uh, form a circle with friends and don't be shy. The snow samba will keep your you young at heart. Uh, ooh, check the, the king's proud steed. Carblink, that's the one. I I was close. Uh, uh, the horse Pokemon gave own uh, gave over its power to serve the king and carry its it hither and thither. Okay. <laughs> Here and there, I guess. <laughs> the two even became one for a time, combining their strength to create a forest in a single night. This proud steed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the, the, the village crops and causing much woe. Uh, but the king, in all its greatness, brought this fierce creature to heed and secured it its loyalty. Uh... But for, each uh, but for each among us who claimed the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, there are there is another who claims it was white as a block of ice. So it's... Ghost ice? Uh, no alive can now, uh, can now say which is the truth. Uh, okay, the reigns of unity? Uh, through these reins did the king send its power in order to tame and control its proud steed. The reins, in fact, were made of the, by the hands of the people in thanks for the plenty bought by the king. Uh, these reins bound not only to the horse and the king to one another, they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of each new year, we must never forget the gift the king w uh, with this offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of the steed be woven together in a, to bide us in all its faith. Let the secrets of this sacred art be passed from parent to child to grandchild and never forgotten. Oh, that went fucking well, didn't it? <laughs> okay. I guess we'll go talk to Big Head McGee. We're gonna keep changing his name every time. Actually, what's in this house? Getting sidetracked. Oh, it's a Beldum. Can I take it? Get in the ball, Beldum. Oh, I'd left all by himself in the house. Big sad. Oh, it's gone. You know what? Oh, wait. Did it... Huh? Oh, it was cooking brownies. Oh, yeah. Yo, I need to borrow your body. <laughs> oi, oi, chief. Uh, how goes the adventuring? Anything to report? Uh, this. Uh, doesn't look like... You've got any fresh progress to report on this one yet? Anything else? Oh, no. I want to read more. I, th I might have to read the top one. Because I read about the steed, but I didn't read about the thing itself. Because we were only here to, look to talk about the steed. Okay. Uh, I'm 
Also, I like the like Super Mario Galaxy music we got going on. That gives us that vibe. Uh, the, the king was a great Pokemon that brought abundance to our cold land. With a sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed in uh, va uh, Vardent grasses and blooms. Uh, with a sweep of its left hand, the fruit of the fields would ripen and grow heavy. Its great crown of green gleaming, and the, ki uh, uh, the king galloped across the land astride its, its proud steed. Ugh. And in, uh, and in their footsteps, buds would burst from the soil, and rich life was born across the re region. Sorry. Uh... And so we uh, we worshipped the king and paid all its all due tribute as king. Uh, the crops? I don't know. While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have rather unusual growth habits. Uh, when grown beneath the, the heaped snow, these hardy roots uh, tend to de uh, develop into ice root carrots. When grown in tracks close to where many souls are laid to rest, shade root carrots will be your crop. Oh! Oh, you can change its typing! Shade Root Carrots are a favourite treat for many Ghost-type Pokemon, while Ice-type Pokemon uh, seem to del uh, seem to delight in eating Ice Root Carrots. You- right, okay. You don't change it. Oh. You... Unlock it? I don't know. Uh, according to old fairy tales, the steed that the King of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both of these var varieties. Uh, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to com uh, contradict one another, uh, with some stories speaking of a white steed uh, de uh, delighting in ice root carrots, and others mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. Uh, that's it? Hey, there we go. Heard you talking shit. <laughs> That's why I appeared again. Also, he skipped leg day for like his entire life, right? <laughs> like, they're not even straight, they're just they're just dangle and flop. Uh, no strength to them whatsoever. Crow, row, crow. Hmm? Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Possession! Human child, where, uh, were you able to find something out about my loyal steed? Yes. You say you've... <laughs> That face, though. I don't know if you can see it on stream, but its eyes are super wide with like a tiny pupil. Uh, you say you found out about something uh, that my uh, that my loyal steed could not resist. It has been so long since we rode together that I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my loyal steed to meet me yet. So tell me, what is it that my loyal steed would find so irresistible? The Freezington Snow Samba. <laughs> the Freezington Snow Samba? I did see the villagers performing a strange dance some years ago, but it was hardly irresistible. In fact, I imagine even a greedent uh, would lose its appetite after one, <laughs> after one look at such an odd display. Wow, that was rude. <laughs> hey, Raven, welcome stream. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. And how you doing? Uh, I think a rabbit would remember. Oh, yes, yeah. You think a broccoli would remember as well? <laughs> Was there perhaps anything else you discovered uh, information about? Uh, the carrots? Oh, carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It, uh, it took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop, the crop must, have been, uh, must have been carrots. I am in your debt, human child. Uh, what we must do now is clear. Uh, if we are able to find carrots somewhere, it should be, uh, it should be, 
but a try a, a trifle to a trifle, a trifle to lure my loyal steed back to me. I wonder, do the humans of the village grow any carrots? If we could obtain even a single seed, I could grow a carrot from what uh, from it myself. Oh yay! Is a dead tree ghost? Oh, it's that. Oh. Uh, in order to find the king's beloved steed, I'll need to I'll, I'll need to first get my hands on my on its favorite food, carrots. Maybe the people of Freezerton can help me out. Uh, do good. Awesome to hear. Uh, you must done with the DLC. Uh, just need stuff to do. Oh, fair enough. As we've, well, as you can probably tell, we've just started. We haven't uh, done any of the legendary stuff yet. Uh, this is the first one that we're making our way through. Um, but this is already more interesting than Isle of Armor, which we did on Friday, so it's sort of fresh in our memories. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Oh, uh, you're looking for carrots? Well, you won't be finding any this time of year. We uh, we do have seeds right here. I'll show you eight pieces of uh, dynamite or... Yeah, great. I got 11. Ignore me. I could have gotten three XP candies. Uh, oh, wonderful. This is plenty. Now we can bury the ore in our fields and make our crops huge. Here are the seeds, as promised. Got a bag. I thought he was giving us one, not a bag. Okay. Uh, don't go planting those seeds I gave you willy-nilly in the village's fields now. Uh, these fields are for our own uh, for our own crops. Wow. Screw you, old man. <laughs> Both arm and leg day. It's too much noggin days. He, he, he was training at the library. That's what it was. You have something to say about these carrots. Okay. Uh, have you found the carrots, human child? By the stars. <laughs> There's that face. Uh, you say that you have carrot seeds. That strange bag contains the seeds of carrots? You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I am constantly amazed by your ing ingenuity. Uh, I know a couple of bits about the DLC. I know the main legendaries that we're looking for. Uh, and that's about it. So I know I knew about Calyrex. I don't... I, I'm... I'm thinking there's a different form or like an evol or an evolution of it with the steed, which I don't know about if that is true. Um, so no spoilers. Uh, I know I know about the birds. I will get to the birds, uh, and I know about the Reggies or the giants. Sorry, I, pff, Reggies. Pff, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's it. That's all I know about the uh, thing. So I don't know the storyline connected to them. I don't know anything else that you can do here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, might explain it well enough though. Okay. Uh, and yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. Uh, they're not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, where might we find soil suited for growing these crops in this tundra of mine? Brain Blast! Ah, I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is a field covered in pristine snow. And let me guess, graveyard? Yeah. It's them, it's the birds! Ah! Uh, another spot is a field by gravestones where those who moved are, are on were laid to rest. So, I can have a ghost carrot or a... Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers to grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask that you choose a field to plant those seeds. Snort! Gah! What in the... I seem to have get... Uh, I seem to be getting into the habit of falling asleep outside. <laughs> I guess it goes well. It goes to show that holding down the fort isn't all that easy. I'll take uh, you. Take care of yourselves, Chief. Don't overdo it. Choose. Okay. Whoa! It's Marnie. <laughs> uh, upon hearing that I was able to find carrot seeds, Calyrex told me about two fields where I can grow the carrots. I need to pick either the field covered in snow or the field by the graves to plant seeds. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to go with... Nan. Nanny. Nanny? <laughs> Sing that song about the King Steed Pokemon. Oh, okay. So the one lady I wanted to talk to actually has information. Great. Oh, of course, my dear. I'd love to. Ice fruit carrots, cold as ice, munched all by the bully in white. Shade root carrots, dark as doom, crunched by the bully with a ghostly gloom. And now you make sure to eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Bit of a short song. Oh, look at this feel! Yes, Nan. Okay, well, I was gonna do the ghost one because the ghost one sounds so much cooler than the ice one. I, yeah, I was gonna do ice because ice is, no, not ice. I was gonna do ghost because ghost is cool and it's edgy and who doesn't love a good bit of edge? Uh, and it's closer, so. <laughs> Guess who else picked Ghost? Uh, I'm guessing you did, Angelic? Oh, this is where the game's really dumb and it's like, oh, hey, which one do you want? Okay, you chose this one. Lol, psych, you have the other one now. Ha ha ha. God, that would be annoying. <laughs> as well. Oh, come on, everyone pick the ghost one. Uh, does that mean I have to get the do I do I have to get the ice one just to get everyone's Pokedex filled out? Is that is that what I'm hearing? But the but the ghost one's so cool. Oh, I never I never pick I never got one of these stealth bombers that throws it, it's babies of people. Wow, everyone picked Ghost. God damn. Do we know anyone that picked Ice? Probably the Ice one is slow as hell. You want the Ice one now? Restart your save. Duh. Well, hey, then you can turn cutscenes on, and then you can you can see the cutscenes. See, you know, silver linings. <laughs> Vanished instantly. Awesome. I mean, it was just a thought. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. Two reasons why I put it, because it's the better one? Uh, but no, I'm still going to pick the ghost one. I don't want the ice one. We're in the crown tundra. There's so many ice Pokemon. How many ghost Pokemon are there? Like three in the entire game. One of which is probably ghastly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Angelic. <laughs> it's one of those fields uh, uh, Calyrex told me about. Do you want to plant the carrot seeds in this field? Yeah, for one reason you want the ice one instead. Why? Oh, wait. Angelic, you want the ice one? Yeah, that's a point. Yeah, if you want the ice one, I, do you want to trade? I can get the ice one for you and then, and then we can trade it, right? Can we trade it? <laughs> Yay, there we go. So, there you go. I will, I'll go get the ice one then. Because then at least we can all see what the ice one looks like. And then I can, <gasps> do I have one of these yet? Hey, look, it's one of the three ghost Pokemon. I do have one of them, okay. Also, there's something I forgot to do ages ago. I'm such a good streamer, guys. Like, I am amazing at everything. Like, 
you guys are just oof, so jealous of my expertise and super coolness and uh, ability to just do everything correctly first try. Uh, boop. And... Yeah, that was it, right? Yeah, I'm I'm less pale now. I look more human. There we go. Probably doesn't look any different for you guys, but there you go. Also, it's it's in focus now. Where are we going? I, I don't know where I'm going. I think it's up here. Is it up here? I don't think it's up here. I think it's jumper. It's not up here. Where are we going? I'm lost. I think it's further on. Check the map. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it's further on. Knocks out special Pokemon, its special attack raises each time you take an opponent's Pokemon out. Oh, Moxie, but special attack is. Oh! That's kinda cool. Hey, it's a Matang! That's a, that's a thing that exists. It's a shiny! Uh, could you imagine just calling a shiny like that? try. My speed harshly fell. I'm still like 40 levels ahead of you, so... Go fastly. As long as it's not on max health, we should be fine. I know what's missing from Shield's version of Crown Tundra. Uh, I can't say that I do. Don't say Nebby. Because <laughs> I already know. So you got it. Hey, awesome! And so it's always nice when you've like really wanted something for so long and you finally get it. It's a shame you got it in this game. <laughs> Of all the games. Hey, here's hoping for next time. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. Does anyone know what they're going to do for the next Pokemon game? Do you think it's going to be on the Switch? Or do you think they're going to keep it... Or they're going to go back to handheld? Given that the 3DS is now finished. Because they've stopped production on... Uh, uh, have we talked about this on stream? That the 3DS is no longer in production? Like, it, that's now done and dusted. Dude, seriously? What is Ma what is Matang's catch rate? Oh, the stone stone joiners. Ah, oh, okay. you 
a Gen 4 remake next. I mean, if they did Gen 4 and made it just a better version of this, it'd be fine. I don't know. I I think if if they use Sword and Shield as a building block for the other Pokemon for the next few Pokemon games and like say okay this was our first big main main series Pokemon game on console I'm gonna stay on switch probably um, like if, if this is just like the first one and they were just trying to get it all sorted then that's like okay we'll just go out from here so the next game looks really nice and then the game after that looks really nice and then also has a good story and like, it just sort of escalates from there yeah it shouldn't take like 10 games to get this right but because if they, if they do make the gen 4 remakes with this dude really um they've got the story They've got the Pokemon. They've got like the map. Like they've it's literally just porting it from that, from the Gen 4 games to this. Which I know I'm making it, I'm oversimplifying it and everything. But it's not It's probably not as difficult as building it from the ground up. And given that they've made Sword and Shield work. And it's not terrible. Like, yes, there's performance issues. The graphic, some of the graphics aren't amazing. The animations aren't great. It looks all right for the most part. So, okay, I don't know where I'm really going with this. <laughs> Tower balls might help. Yeah, they might at this point. What the actual is this shit? It is on one health and it is asleep. It has a 1.6% catch rate. Oh, here we go. Uh, mid tank. Uh, oh, this only goes up to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Uh, was it 63? Let's just use this. Uh, it's not core uh, status uh, sleep. Uh, and we're using Ultra Balls. I have we have an eleven point nine percent chance to catch this. Apparently, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like when when the game wants to be, it can look really nice. Like some of the textures don't look great. Like look at the rock and trees, for example. Not and and the hill. Like, the Pokemon look good. The people look good. Like, it's not terrible. It could be a lot worse. Yeah. Yeah, the new the new Pokemon Snap game looks really nice. And who knows, that could be running on the engine that this is running on. And, like, they're using that as a tester for graphics and stuff. And then they just put that in this. Boom. That's that sorted. And then they do the Gen 4 remix. That's the story fixed. I don't even want to Matang this badly. It's just annoying me at this point. This one is at two health. Like, it's not even one, it's just two. Jesus Christ. 
guarantee we catch a legendary a hell of a lot easier than we did with that. Guarantee. Anyway. Uh, let's use a bag in case we have to fight something. Let's say let's use a bag. Then let's go in the bag. You get one legendary first ball. Uh, yeah, that. Oh, uh, yeah, that evolves, doesn't it? Forgot about that. Oh, there's a bunch of Beldums. Hey, look, there's that thing that I cannot remember the name of. Begins with D. Double. Are we going, are we going the right way? Okay. Found it somewhere. Oh, Snom! Is it up here? Get the fuck off my time. No one remembers that. Oh, it's a Giblet! Or whatever it's called. I think it's a Giblet. It's not that. It looked Zubats for days. Gone. That's the one. Oh, there's that thing that Galele turns into? Question mark. Get bite. Same thing. Giblet. <laughs> Pair of safety goggles. Hey. Okay. Okay. Perfect idea for catching legendaries. Or any Pokemon in... Uh, oh, wow, what's that legendary down there? Who knows? What? That's not a legendary. That's a that's a random Pokemon no one's ever seen. Um, yeah. Um, so, if there's a Pokemon that uses hail, or has hail assigned to it, I don't know, then just throw safety goggles on it. I don't know. You'll be fine. Like, use fling... The new safety goggle sits so holding it so that it doesn't get buffered. <laughs> Big brain plays. The side way of glaring. That's the badger. Oh, oh, that's a that's a that's a guard chomp right there. <laughs> Uh, one sec. Hypnosis. Crossless. That sounds alright. Based on some folklore of a woman that can kidnap people in snowstorms. Oh, fun. Ah, oh, why does it know dig? That's fine. It's all done. <laughs> the more turns it's away, the more turns I can buff. Go to sleep. Oh, Gallade wants to be petted. Oh, it's cute. The sand shark both what is that actually what it is? Oh that that was quick. Awesome. But it should be, yeah, at this point, that's fair. Also, it's one level away from being nice, and that upsets me. Yeah. 
it flies in the anime. I mean, it's it's got fins. It can help it glide. I yeah. A match Pokemon. What does that even mean? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do full swipe because I should put it down to one. Exactly. Ah. Dragon Claw. Oh no! Okay, they killed him. Can't put it to sleep, so Ultra Ball. Diamond Pokedex. When it folds up its body and extends its wings, it looks like a jet plane. It flies at sonic speed. It's a transformer. It's also Sonic, but it's a transformer. Isn't it Megatron can turn into a jet? Can't remember my transformers very well. Best crossover. Sonic and Transformers. I mean, to be honest, there's worse crossovers you could have. Because Sonic does fight a lot of machines from Dr. Eggman. So it's like Sonic could team up with the Autobots and help fight machines and like the Decepticons and stuff. And Dr. Eggman can join uh, the uh, Decepticons and make like Ultra Metal Sonic. That then transforms, yeah. See, you, yeah. I, I did steal that from you, Angelic, I'm sorry. But yeah, you had a good point. See, we, we, we could make such a better film than just every film in existence. Uh, it boosts speed when intimidated. Yay. So I don't know where I'm going. Oh no, I do know where I'm going. I'm going this way. Because we just bought stuff. I don't know if this is where I'm meant to be going. There's a lot of stuff you can find here. I didn't feel like you could find this much stuff in Um Uh The Isle of Armor. Like there are a couple of places that you could go, but there weren't like like there was the big ocean that had islands on it, but this just look. This seems like it has lots of nooks and crannies just everywhere. Tommy Express, yeah, it's made even better. Oh yeah. Oh, red candy, nice. What's this way? Heavy duty boots. Heavy potion. Whoa! What's that funky looking Pokemon that person just got? That looks awesome! I bet it's a flying type. Turtles keep spooking you when it comes over to you. <laughs> well, stop having him on your party then! <gasps> Snom. Good old Snom. Oh my god. Oh, it's the Snom evolutions. Oh, get him out of here. Snom does not evolve. Change my mind. No, don't change my mind. You can't change my mind. Ooh, XP, uh, EXP candy lock. God, are we there yet? Is it at the top of this thing? I don't think... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I'm not meant to be here. Oops. But he's cool. I mean, I guess. Come here, are you too fair? Well, at least it shows that you can do stuff whenever you want. Oh, this is where the steed is, isn't it? <laughs> you 
felt like something was watching you until just a moment ago. <laughs> of course it's at the house. <laughs> Okay, thanks. I, I, I didn't mean to do that, but sure. You know, I bet it's a... A Galarian Weezing. That's what I'm betting. Top hat and all. Ooh, psychic. Or, or, or... A... Hmm. Gigantamaxed Meowth. A, a G Max Snom, yes. Or a G Max Wailord, even better. Can't do anything. I can't move my camera at least. Housekeeping. One sec. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Can't do anything here now. Uh, yes, nothing. No, this place is of no significance. Oh, well, we'll just leave it be. Uh, right, so we need to go find the thingamadoohickey, don't we? Where are we? We're way too high up. We need to be down here. Can we? We can't fly back down there, can we? Okay, it's fine. Um, so I've, I've just been asked to go help move some stuff. So uh, we'll have a quick break here. Uh, be a few minutes or so. It shouldn't be too long. Um, hopefully. Uh, so uh, back here in just a second, we'll uh, go plant some ice stuff, I guess. So see you in a minute. 